Hello and welcome to the Pi Link. If this is your first time coming to this site, um, you will find here the world's premier repository of advice, information, research, analysis, uh, published papers, videos, um, webinars and, and so on, all about the development of psychologically informed environments. Uh, it's very safe to say it's the world's premier repository because it's the only one. This is where it's all begun and this, this is where it all happened. My name is Robin Johnson. I'm the first person who first came up with the idea of a psychologically informed environment based on what we saw, what my own colleagues saw happening, particularly in homelessness services in the UK over the previous 10 or so years. It was about 10 years ago we first came up with the idea. And the idea has been continuing to evolve and develop and um, find new areas where it turns out to be useful um, ever since then. I've been trying to keep track of and to some extent shepherd that evolution and to chronicle it, to describe it. And um, certainly over the last year or so there's been a, really some quite major changes in the way we try and understand what we even mean by a psychologically informed environment based on this continuous dialogue about what's happening in services out there and how best we capture this in, in a useful language. Um, you'll find there's been a lot that's changed on this website if you have been here in previous years as we try and um, adapt and adopt a new framework which we've sometimes called PIES 2.0 to describe where we're at now as of 2018. Um, 2.0, we use the sort of software upgrade language because everyone's kind of familiar with that. You, you know that when there's new software, uh, it attempts to resolve some of the bugs in the old software. It allows you to do things you couldn't do as, uh, as you develop your ambitions to do more and more. Um, but anything that you did under your previous version of, you know, Word or... Um, whatever you use, um, should be compatible. You should be able to use stuff that you did with the old model. And so it is with PIES 2. If you've had training, if you've done some kind of um, development and R&D work using the old model, you should find that all of that is still valid, still fits within the new model. And if that's good enough for you, if that works for you, do continue to use it. Do continue. Um, but the new model allows us to go into areas that we now know that we need to address in developing psychologically informed environments. And one is things like outreach and more sort of network dispersed housing services. Uh, the relationship between um, frontline services and middle and senior management, which has proved to be problematic, some, some tensions there for some services. Uh, with the relationship between service development and local commissioning and the, the join or failure of join or lack of join and certainly a lot of new ideas about system change that have been coming through led by people like Lankily Chase and the Fulfilling Lives programme in the UK led by the Housing First uh, strategy within the United States and, and in other areas. There's a, really quite a lot of new thinking and new ideas coming through and we try and capture as much of this as we can within the evolving PIES model. Um, the uh, major development at the moment in the UK in particular is the development of the self-assessment framework. We called it sometimes the, the PIZAS, um, the PIES Self-Assessment and Service Specification Framework. And the acronym, of course, um, tries to remind us that actually creativity and innovation and flair are just as important as adherence to any particular model or template. In fact, adherence to a model or template is the wrong way to go. Customising, finding out for yourself, action learning, learning from others, that's by far the most effective way to, to develop. So we now have the self-assessment framework using PIES 2.0. And at the moment, we have a number of pilots trying to see how a particular self-assessment distance travelled measure called the abacus, um, yeah, to see how effective that is, how useful that is for capturing what we're, what we're doing. Early, early sounding suggests that there's got a lot of um, mileage in this, but we're having to take it step by step and uh, tease our way out. 
Um, the, the other major development of the last year or two has been the increasingly rich dialogue between the United States and the, and the United Kingdom. And there's a whole section um, describing a book that came out. I myself was editor, co-editor of, of parts of it, and wrote a couple of chapters. So if you want, if you're interested in the kind of uh, the wider policy frameworks in which new ideas come forward, have a look at the cross-cultural dialogues um, section of the site. Other than that, it it is an enormous amount of work trying to keep all these ideas, juggling all these things, and and keep keep abreast. Um, so you will often find, I'm afraid, broken links. You'll often find out-of-date versions of things. You'll find some pages that haven't been looked at for a year or two. Um, this is all it more than one person can manage, <laughs> to be frank. Um, and I'm also reaching the age where I'm starting to look at winding down and handing over this whole area to other, other people. So apologies if this isn't as smooth a site as sometimes you might have been led to expect. But that is the nature of the beast. That is the world we're in. Everything is cut price and everything is done on a shoestring. Um, you know, my, one of my favourite videos is that um, part of the Wallace and Gromit thing with the, the, the wrong trousers where um, Gromit finds himself on a train set whizzing around in a circle. Um, with The penguin suddenly throws the, the points that he's heading for a wall. He's got a quiver of rail tracks that he's picked up somehow or other at some point and he's throwing them down in front of him frantically just trying to keep pace with everything that's going on in the world unchanged and I think that that's that's the real world for most of us isn't it we all make it up as we go along doing the best we can so I hope you will find stuff here that will be of interest and that will be of value to you please do drop us a line if there's anything in particular you're interested in I am hoping that we can continue to run a number of webinars and online discussions over the um, spring and summer of, of this year. We've tried it a little bit before and it's difficult to find timings that suit everybody. So we're still trying to work out what's the best way to do this. <laughs> and that's a good point to end, I think. <laughs>